Hello again, back to the last question in this module 4. Uh, we are trying to uh, figure out which one of these advanced control systems doesn't require more than one loop. And for that purpose we are going to review the mm, general structure of these uh, advanced uh, control systems. In the case of a cascade control, as you can see here in the figure, we have several measurements and we have several loops. The master loop is the external one and some slave uh, uh, control loops uh, internally. So really we have several control loops. In the case of the adaptive control probably you remember that it is useful when we don't have a good model of the process or uh, the process is changing with uh, time. And then we have uh, a, a loop to identify the model either the model of the process of the mo or the model of the controller and we are computing the controller parameters and tuning, online tuning these controller parameters. And of course there is uh, an out, out, uh, out, outside uh, uh, control loop which is the classical uh, feedback uh, control. So we have here again two loops, one to control and one to identify and to change the parameters of the controller. Uh, and of course, if we consider a hierarchical control, probably you remember that in that case we have a local control, we have a, an adaptation and supervision control, and we have a coordinating control. And all this involves uh, <coughs> several loops for each uh, sub process in the plant. So, clearly, in the case of the predictive control, the different idea is that the control is not computed like in the case of the PID very simply by the proportional integral or derivative action is the result of an in optimization process uh, based on this uh, kind of indices and then the control is generated by minimizing this uh, index but in any case there is only one control loop so the correct answer is predictive control uh, doesn't require more than one loop thank you for your attention and I think uh, that's all for this uh, module 4 questions.